we have this insane bot called Midans that has been crushing every single opponent of theirs. Hikaru got him chest, both his life. You know that I've tried to calm down this kitty cat once. I did not succeed. Well, today... I'm taking my revenge. So, Midans. The IA, the chess bot, the destroyer of all cats. I am taking black because, well, white. You saw what happened in the first game when I first YouTube video. Knight d3. Hmm, interesting. How about d5? Don't tell me you're gonna play London. I have already one client who plays London, and I don't like that. Hmm, g3, king's leading attack. Interesting. c6. Let's go for c6. Bishop g2. Wow. Knight of six. How about this one? Short castle. G6. D3. Well, I'm gonna go bishop g7. For now, I have the center. Everything is pretty solid. Bishop f4. You serious about that? Well, I'm gonna play knight d7. For now, my moves are very fast. You know, well, it's not complicated to make opening moves as long as you study openings. I mean, you know, just giving you an advice. Short castle. Let's see how this one is gonna go. Oh, c4. Hmm, that's interesting. We have to start thinking. Rook e8, preparing e5. That's how we're gonna go. C takes d5. All right, all right, all right. <gasps> I cannot take with a pawn because I actually might boot as gambit my queen. Bishop c7 and the queen is attacked. Therefore, I have to take with the knight. Ouch, Midans. Yeah, that was a very mean one. Knight takes d5. Well, bright side, I actually attack the opponent's bishop, and my bishop is still active. I don't want to trade this, guys, because, you know, well, this is my protection. I don't want to trade my g7 guy. So I am putting him back. Bishop h8. Let's go for bishop h8. Rook d1. Interesting approach so far, my friend. Okay, how about I push the pawn to the center? Seems the most logical. So far, honestly, I think I'm having a very great position. I don't see how this cat could actually take me down. I mean, I do have one unpleasant thing, which is the bishop on CA. I should probably find a way how to improve it. Um, where could I put it? Okay, so I have knight b6, but does not make any sense. Knight f6 also. Well, how about knight f8 and then knight e6 and then knight d4? Bingo. I love it. It's some kind of an outpost, you know, in a way. Knight f6. I'm going for it. e4. Wow, you're playing aggressive. Don't tell me your next move is d4. I would not digest that. How about knight b6? Knight b6, I control the knight, c, the knight c4 square. Once again, the only problem is d4, but it seems like it's not on time. I'm, I take. Yeah, I love it. Knight b6. Okay, kitty cat. A4. Mm. Now, A4 I actually really like. It's very smart move because now white wants to push A5 and to kick my knight out in a very passive square. So I would have to develop the bishop and then go back with my knight. But then there's going to be A6. It's very unpleasant. So normally, logically speaking, I should respond with A5. But the only thing which worries me is that we're getting the B6. So somehow bishop E3 attacking the knight, then... Yeah, I mean, for now, queen b3 cannot go, so knight c4, okay, a5, you convince me. Also, I have this always knight e6 and knight d4. Imagine if I win this game. Midans, h3, played. Okay, h3 is a solid move. Do I want to develop the bishop or put the knights to d4? I somehow feel, you know, there is this rule that the bishop can play from their own position. It's still strong. Start with a knight. Knight e6, we're gonna go knight d4. Seems like a good plan for me. Hmm. Knight b3. Oh, -ho. now we're talking. Now we're talking. So knight b3 wants to go to c5, but then same time c5 is protected. What do you want? Do you want to push? Push. Okay, there are one, two, and three. And I have one, two, queen, and bishop four. So pushing doesn't work. Now, if I go to d4, one thing I don't like is like, for me, d4, by the way, my favorite word, d4. You got it. Correct. Outpost. D4 is an outpost. So if I were to put my piece to the outpost, I'd probably want to capture back with a piece. Because imagine if I go knight d4 and then knight takes d4, I have to capture pawn back and I block the d3 pawn. So I don't have any outpost anymore. And my bishop is still kind of... And the pawns, these pawns would move. And there are a lot of arrows. I know that. I know you don't like that, but my apologies. Okay. What could we potentially do here? How about this one? 
How how weird is this? Rook g7. Bishop g5 is not a threat because of the knight. Rook g7. d4 we capture. Knight takes we capture. Knight takes we capture with the bishop. And then we always have this one. Well, there was bishop g5, f6. Bishop takes f6. Yeah, wow. That was a beautiful line. What if I start with bishop though? Like this I would always have my knight e2. Yeah. So rook e7, d4, takes, takes. Bishop takes. Knight takes, knight takes. And on bishop g5, we got knight e7. Seems to be working. I'm doing it. Rook e7. Bishop e3. Wow, that's interesting. Attacking the knight, but the knight is protected. But moreover, what bothers me is that they still prepare somehow d4. Mm, well, I guess nothing changes for me, and I can still do my plan. Rook d7. One thing that I really dislike about this position is this stupid piece. It's it's really disgusting. And this is also this one also doesn't have any. The knight on b6 doesn't have any place. I need to find a way how to regroup my pieces. How about rook d2 and then knight, b, knight d7? And then knight f8. Could that be making sense? I know it's not the most convenient, but still. We could give it a try. We could. All right. Um, tack, tack, tack. Also, bright side. Now the rook on c8 cannot come because the pawn on a4 is protected. So, yeah, let's go. Rook c5. I know it's clumsy. I know it's very clumsy. Yeah, this one I was kind of expecting. I was expecting this move, honestly. Knight c5. Bright side doesn't attack anything for now. <sighs> what do we do? Do we still want to... Like, no, we cannot don't want to because there are two pieces. Knight d4. If knight takes, we have to attack with a pawn. And that's not what we want because it would block all of our pieces at the same time. And we really want to build something on this open d file. Hmm... Knight on b6, knight on b6. Can we go knight d7? How ridiculous is that? Knight takes e6, rook takes e6, and d4, and pawn takes and knight takes, and I totally dislike that. No, that's not working. Mm -hmm. If we simply capture, then bishop captures. We go backwards. They still d4. Oh, d4, we have one, two, three, four, and they have one, two, three. No, oh, we're fine. So we can capture and go back. But still, this knight, my crypto knight. What if I go. No, but if I capture and go back. Oh, well, normally every single capture is good for me because. No, actually not. Why would it be you? Like, who is like. Who is more passive here? I don't understand. Well, one thing I do know as a rule if there is a opponent's piece in your camp, you really need to get rid of it. Bishop takes. Okay, now a lot. This one I don't like because of d4, so I have to go here. Rook d7. D4? Wait, I thought it wasn't war. I thought it wasn't working. How are you gonna make work it? How are you gonna make it work? Queen b3? Attacking the knight on b6? And the knight has no squares! Oh my gosh! And if rook a6, there is bishop... Oh! Bishop f1. Oh my goodness. Am I losing the knight? No, 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 no. Please no. Please no. Please not like that. I cannot lose to a cat. Not like that. Oh my gosh. See? That's why I never play against chess engines. Oh la 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 la. Rook a6. Of course you're gonna play. Of course, Bishop of One. Why? Why would you play this? It's such a bad move. Why would you do that? I'm joking. It's a very good move. Congratulations. Kudo. No, Dina. We do not resign. We fight till we end. Oh, the position is completely lost. Completely lost. Can I play D3? Ah. I only lost the 22 moves. That was very ridiculous. D3. Bishop takes... No, I don't like that. Bishop takes. That bishop takes. Uh, the threat is still there. Bishop is still attacking the rook. Okay, if I go back, I'm um, just exchange down. Could I? Oh, it's so ridiculous. <gasps> it's so ridiculous. Because the threat is still on the knight. But I knew my knight was. Remember, remember that day I told you the knight on b6 was ugly. He didn't have any squares. Well, I was right. The knight was gonna be my weakness. Knight a8. We're gonna pre-move b takes a6 because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, in a very certain rush. Oh, excuse me? Queen b8? Are you joking? Queen b8 is such a 
humiliation. It's simply humiliation. He's humiliating me. The cat is humiliating. Well, I've got a couple of dogs, you know. The dogs that are gonna fight you. That's my only option. I also have bishop b7. Okay, bishop b7. Rook takes, queen takes. See, kids? That's why you need to develop your pieces. Knight c7. But I don't like bishop b6. I don't like it at all. How am I gonna unpin myself from all this mess? Rook e7. But bishop can of everything is pinned. This is disgusting. What if I push the pawn? Rook c1. And yeah. I told you. It's disgusting. Makes me want to quit chess. Even queen f6 attacking the knight is not helpful because check. Okay, let's try something. D3. Yeah, rook c1. Well, at least I can guess my opponent's moves. You know, maybe I'm a mittens too. Maybe I'm an engine as well. I can guess my opponent's moves. Why not? Hmm. Rook c1. Interesting. If I capture, rook captures and attacks. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dina, Dina. What have you done? Position is lost. Totally, totally, totally lost. There's absolutely nothing here. Nothing at all. Okay, can I resign now? No! Fight! 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 That's gonna be my last move. I cannot. I'm losing the night. Well, you know, as the old saying goes, at least I tried. <laughs> Kitty cat, I've got a couple of dog friends. They will defend my honor.